Off the top and unfolding at this hour, the Texas Department of Transportation, through a spokesperson, saying at this time the state agency has no plans to reconnect State Highway 87 from Sabine Pass to High Island. That stretch, more commonly known as the Beach Road, has been closed for decades. Storms through the years washing it out, but despite what TxDOT is saying tonight, a Jefferson County Commissioner and a Southeast Texas state lawmaker are lobbying to restore the road. KFDM's Angel San Juan joining us live in studio now to explain why many are saying this is the perfect time to get this done. Angel. Hi, Aaron. Jefferson County Commissioner Michael Senegal will be seeking his fifth term next year, and he says a priority for him since he was first elected in 2008 has been to restore Beach Road. He says it's on his bucket list for both economic and safety reasons. 378, he says bag of chips. Becky Dolan has been checking out customers at the Sportsman Supply Store for 25 years. It's the only grocery store in Sabine Pass. Dolan remembers when this community was thriving because of Beach Road. The stretch of State Highway 87 South between Sabine Pass in Jefferson County and High Island in Galveston County. This was a hopping little town. It really was. There was a lot going on down here, and I'd love to see that again. To where, you know, we got people coming down here for recreation reasons. We love going to uh, Galveston this way. He rode the whole beach the whole way. Something that can't be done now. The road is closed. Years of storms have washed a majority of it away. And it's been a road to nowhere for about three decades. But Jefferson County Commissioner Michael Senegal says the time has come to restore it into a road of prosperity. The economic development of, of what would happen to Sabine Pass as well as High Island and Winnie is, is unimaginable. Of greater concern to Commissioner Senegal is safety. Right now, with this road shut down to traffic, people living in Sabine Pass only have one way in and one way out. And I got one of my prized possessions, my grandson. He attends Sabine Pass uh, High School. Dolan worries about that too, especially since more industry has set up shop in the Sabine Pass area. She fears more people will make it even harder to escape. A catastrophe. It would be a catastrophe. If we have a storm, a major hurricane storm, everybody starts trying to evacuate at one time out of this town. Now, only way out is that one little road. And it's going to be bad. The most important thing is safety. We're building two LNG plants right there on Highway 87 between the refineries and Sabine Pass. That, that's only one way in and one way out. We would have to either evacuate them by air or by boat to get citizens out of there if we have a uh, tragedy in that area. But Commissioner Senegal says the influx of industry could actually raise the stakes in getting this road fixed. He says it's already proven it can be done. We did that with the new LNG plant that's coming online, line simple, Port Arthur Energy. We did that. They moved the highway in about a half a mile, two miles in some areas to uh, uh, make room for that LNG plant. It's, it's a no-brainer. A no-brainer that will take cooperation, even though TxDOT says it has no plans to restore the road. Commissioner Senegal says there are plenty of people with the will to make it happen. This is perfect time. Perfect reason, perfect time, perfect funding. And I think the federal government, as well as the state government, as well as the local government, should all come together and try and decide how we're, we're going to do this thing. Dolan is optimistic as well. I just can't wait. I know it's going to happen. I really feel in my heart it's going to happen this time. Southeast Texas State Representative Kristen Manuel is also pushing hard for the restoration of the road, telling us it's very important for the state to help open up the road so residents can have more access to safety. Aaron.